By the way, I'm wearing the coolest sweatshirt ever. Gryffindor for life. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with you to share how I prevent my lips from looking gross, crusty, and chapped when I wear liquid lipsticks. So if you wanna see my tips and tricks, keep on watching. Okay, so I don't have anything on my lips right now. They are super dry. I naturally have really dry, chapped lips, and it is not cute. I always have to carry chapstick on me. It's my biggest fear to be out and about and not have chapstick and my lips are just crusty and gross looking. So I like to take these steps that I'm going to share with you when I'm going to be wearing a liquid lipstick. I don't wear lip liquid lipsticks often because of this, but when I want to wear one for a special occasion, I take these steps and it lasts all night on me. Okay, so my first trick, it's not really a trick, it's something that you should be doing anyway, is I like to exfoliate my lips. Like I said, my lips are very chapped and flaky looking. Um, I don't know why I drink so much water. I've been told, drink water, it'll go away. It doesn't. It does not go away. I don't know why, but it does not go away. So one of my favorite products to scrub away all those nasty little flakies is this Nug Lip Exfoliator. I think it's called a Lip Smoothing Exfoliator. And it's basically just a lip balm that has a bunch of, I think, sugar crystals in it. And it feels so nice. It smells really, really good. It smells like vanilla. But if you don't have this or you don't want to spend any money, you could definitely use stuff that you have laying around the house. I used to, before I got this, I actually used to make my own lip mask with a little bit of honey, sugar, and sometimes I would put a little bit of yogurt just for that extra, I'm sorry, extra moisturizing. And that always works just as good as this does. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, it's a tiny little dot, and I'm gonna run that around my lips. And I'm just gonna rub my lips together, and it's okay if this gets in your mouth because it tastes really good. I'm pretty sure this one's just made with oils and sugar, pretty much like the one that I said you could do all by yourself at home. Okay, so I've had this lip treatment on my lips now for five minutes. So I'm just gonna wipe it off. The only thing that kind of bugs me about these lip masks is that you always have like sugar particles around your lips, but since it's made out of sugar, you could literally just lick your lips and it's all gone. Okay, so after that mask, I usually like putting on a lip balm or an oil, and today I'm going to be using the Banish Oil. This is mostly made out of glycerin and pure grade vitamin C, so this is really gonna help moisturize your lips. I would use the Baby Lips. I really love this Baby Lips chapstick. It's so moisturizing, but I completely ran out of it. I've literally been like scraping into it with my fingernail, which is so gross. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this oil and I'm going to just place it on my lips. And you're gonna wanna let this oil settle in for a few minutes before you go in with any products. So just give it a good two to three minutes for it to really, really soak in. So now that that oil has really sunk in, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit more about my favorite matte lipsticks or liquid lipsticks. My favorite matte lipsticks right now definitely have to be these um, Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks from Laura Mercier. These go on so, so well. They have really good pigmentation and they look extremely matte without making it feel like your mouth is in the Sahara Desert. So I've really been loving these and I actually have a video on my Instagram that's at High On Lifestyle with two E's where I showcase some of the colors. Some of them worked for me, some of them did not, but it is a good video to watch if you're interested in this. Another liquid lipstick that I am absolutely in love with and never ever leaves my lips looking or feeling dry is the Too Faced Liquid Chocolate, I'm sorry, the Too Faced Melted Chocolate liquid lipsticks these one smell so good like i feel like i'm in a chocolate shop when i wear this on my lips and they last a really good long time they don't last as long as a regular 
super drying down liquid lipstick, but they do they get the job done and you could definitely always bring it with you. It never fades off patchy, so I really enjoy this product. Next, I wanna talk to you guys about a product that I'm obsessed with, mostly because it's so inexpensive. There's so many colors in its range and that's the NYX Soft Matte Liquid Lipstick and also the Liquid Suede from the same NYX collection line. Those two have such, such great colors in their collection. They're so affordable. I don't think they go over $8.99 at the drugstore. I usually get mine from CVS, but I will say that my favorites are the soft matte lip creams over the liquid suede. I like the colors in the liquid suede more, but this color is my favorite, and this is in the shade Abu Dhabi. This one is beat up because I use it so much. I throw this in every purse. It looks so, so, so good. My lips never look dry, just like the other ones, but this one dries down a little bit more matte than those other ones. Maybe not as matte as the Laura Mercier one, but this is more of a liquid lipstick. The Laura Mercier is more of a regular lipstick and I really love how this one looks on my skin tone. I love how it wears throughout the night. I love that it never gets on my teeth. It's such a beautiful product and I will continue buying it until they discontinue it, which I hope they never do. Last but not least, my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time are the Ofra liquid lipsticks. They are so good, so, so good. They're a little more pricey than that NYX, but these last all night these do not move and they dry down so they are kissable they are kiss proof but they don't feel like they dry down completely which i'm just amazed by i don't know how they do it i don't know what they put in their formula but i'm obsessed with these and these are the ones that i'm going to be demonstrating today i'm between using the shade brooklyn which is a really dark shade it's so pretty though and using the shade coven from the nikki tutorials collection i haven't tried this color yet so i might actually want to try this one on camera so let me just put on a lip liner and we will test this okay now that you're all up in my grill you can see that my lips look super moisturized they don't feel flaky at all that exfoliate that exfoliator took off all that dry crustiness. It's actually really cold right now in Florida, which is so weird. Okay, so actually I'm just gonna go in with the shade Brooklyn because I just realized that that liquid lipstick um, from the Nikki Tutorials collection, the shade Coven, is actually a metallic lip. And I wanna give this video a fair shot and have you see the dryness in my lips if there is any. And with a liquid lip, you're not gonna be able to see that because there's light bouncing back. Ooh. I forgot how dark this color was. These are my lips now that the liquid lipstick is dried down and you could see that I have no drying, no crusty looking skin anywhere. My lips just look nice and supple. Liquid lipsticks are always going to be drying so you're always gonna have that little bit that just looks a little dry unless you have super full plump lips which not everyone in the world has but these steps I think can really help you in achieving a look with liquid with liquid lipstick that is gonna look a little more supple and a little bit more soft and not crusty and gross which nobody likes. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned how to not get crusty lips. So if you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I bring out new videos every single week and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.